People say planes are rigid machines, so explain this. Speed literally made Concorde longer, on every flight. If stretching metal sounds unsafe to you, good, that's the debate. Concorde cruised above Mach 2. At that speed, air can't get out of the way. Kinetic energy turns straight into heat. Skin temperatures exceeded 120 degrees Celsius in places. This wasn't engine heat, it was the air itself heating the aircraft. At cruise, the fuselage lengthened by 6 to 12 inches. Nose, tail, wings, all heated at different rates. Gaps and joints visibly changed size. Engineers even left a visible gap behind a cockpit panel, so crews could watch the aircraft stretch in real time. That wasn't a defect. That was proof it was working. Concorde was built assuming this would happen. Special aluminium alloys, sliding joints, expansion allowances for every flight, it didn't fight heat, it moved with it. Rigid structures crack, compliant structures survive. So here's the uncomfortable question. Do you actually want an aircraft that pretends physics won't happen? Or one that's engineered to visibly move when physics demands it? Concorde chose the honest option.